Hello everyone, it's Rita here, and I'm here to share with you my Golden Botanical Junk Journal. Um, it is finally finished. Um, it's a very um, stuffed book, but um, I like it. I think it turned out good, and um, everything is pretty much inside of the of the book where I was worried about it. There's a little sticking out, but it's nothing major. And then, um, oop, I got a re-glue here. I was worried about those little flowers. Um, I have three signatures in it, and this is um, the back here. And um, then, of course, you saw this we did on the front, and I will fix that um, flower. And um, this is held by, um, tied with uh, like a chiffon uh, black ribbon. And the size is uh, eight inches high by five and a half inches wide. And it looks to be about one and a half inch spine. It's kind of hard to tell because it's a rounded spine and it, it feels really nice. It almost feels like you have leather because of the way we did this with the tissue. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking it. Okay, so um, also, uh, I think it's 110 pages. Um, I counted both sides of the pages and there's 55 total pages. So um, I times that by two. So that's 110 pages, if I'm doing it correctly. Okay, so here we go. So here's our first page and um, a few of these things I did off camera. Um, and so you guys will see some new stuff. Um, inside here is a journal card with uh, writing um, on the back. And I will go through this. I can see I didn't ink here. I was there. I, I put so much in this journal. It's uh, kind of unreal. I hope you can see it too because I was out of camera the other day. Um, this is the first uh, little belly band that I made just with some of the lace that I had and then here's a journal card here that you can take out and write inside there you can actually write on here too if you'd like I didn't decorate that part um, I put a little charm on here it's got a little butterfly on this like copper um, metal piece and the back of this page is um, I don't need that paper clip anymore. That was to mark the page. Okay, on the back is writing, uh, journal space, journal space here and here. Then in here we have a little um, card, journal card that can be written on. And there's a couple little pieces of um, writing paper in here, like tickets. And then um, more journal space. And I don't need this paper clip. And then here, more journaling. This is that um, very old vintage book pages that was sent to me by Patty. It was from the 1700s. Um, so it is extremely old. And um, it's you can tell it's kind of like maybe one of those fabric papers. You can see lines going through it. So I don't know if it is fabric or not. But um, I think you'll have fun reading it because the way they pronounce things then uh, is totally different than what we have today as far as um, English goes. Um, more journaling space here. And then over here we have this pocket with the little window in it and a journal card there that fits down inside there. And then I have a couple journal cards here. I still need to probably put some backing on it, uh, some of those flowers. A more journaling space here and here. And you can write on this tissue paper. I love to write on it, it's kind of fun. Um, and then here you can actually see the lines, so if you wanna stay on the lines. Um, that reminds me too, I'm maybe, well, I don't have really that much clear, but this is the writing board. And I did put a line paper uh, under the writing board. So see, you would have lines there if you wanted, okay? And this is the front, and I'm not super crazy about the way this turned out. It didn't um, cover, I mean, I don't know. It just, yeah, you can't, it just looks like a yellow blob. It doesn't really look like flowers. And the print that I put on the back was too busy. And this print was from 
Tanya, she sent me um, wrapping paper uh, with this print. And I also have pages in here with this print that I got from, I think it was um, Cotton and Twigs. So it's kind of funny that it was exactly the same paper. So this is a book page, dictionary page that I made. Now this guy here, I forgot to sew him in to the um, inside of the pages, which I could have done because I took out the other book. But um, I just stuck it in here. This is a space for journaling. And then we have journal cards here inside this little pocket. And I thought, well, I'm just gonna stick it in here like that. And then in here, there's two of these pockets that you can put something inside there. And this is just a, a vintage um, uh, gardening book that I have. And um, I just copied the, the uh, page from it. It's an old book. And then we have our bird uh, guy here. And then I just made a couple tags and put a baby eyelet in those. And you can journal on the back of those. And journaling here. Uh, this one I just diff left the flower like that. I think if you wanted to, if you use a felt tip pen, um, you could write all across the back of this if you'd like. And then here's another uh, part of the dictionary. There's three signatures. Oh, I told you that. Three signatures. Okay. And then over here is, this is just for looks. And then we have a little pocket here. And I have a little journal card inside here. And another little journal card here. And um, you can, there is more space to put another card because there's these openings here, if you can see that in the camera. Um, but I didn't put anything in them, so you're free to do that. <laughs> and then here I have a journal card that goes inside this um, side of the envelope. Okay. And that's um, pretty sturdy cardstock. Then on this side, I finished the envelope flap off with this flower and this uh, medallion from the wax seals. And then I have a journal card here that I made. And um, that fits inside there. There's more writing space, more writing space, more writing space. Here I just put one of those clips, um, the... Uh, bullpen clip I think they're called or something and I have a charm on that here oops put that back and then this is a little journal card thingy that I made and it you can actually put this inside here if you'd like and there's a the envelope is like that but I just did it this way so you could see it because I think it's cute okay and then um, another one of those pages this is just a paper clip a altered paper clip and I have this little journal card that I just love this journal card I've had it for a long time actually I think it came off a clothing or it came off of a gift or something and I've had it uh, for a long time Okay, more journaling, journaling. Uh, this is not a paper clip. This is, I just saw this done by um, Donna Phillips um, Junk Journal Ideas. And it all it is is just um, a little envelope uh, or it's a notepad, but it looks like an envelope. And you can just write on, on here and it closes like that. And I just put this little medallion um, I think it's like a label and then it actually will stay over the page edge without clipping it but I don't know it didn't seem like it stayed that well so I put this cute little clip on there she had those Tim Holtz clips which I don't have any okay then over here I have this is the belly band we made out of the uh, junk mail envelope and then I finished um, this with um, a journal card and butterfly and flowers so you can see through there and there's a little charm with the little um, leaves on it okay and this is vintage um, 
date book from 1962 or 64. There's a page there if you'd like to add something. I could not add any more to this uh, book. It was just so full. But once it's in your hands, if you want to add more pockets, you, you sure could. And then I like this because I love to uh, write on this paper. And this little book here, our little folded envelope here, has this um, pages in there. And then we have a couple of journal cards and a little notebook thing there. And then, let's see, did I put anything in here? No. Maybe I'll find some. I'm really out of everything. Um, today I had to actually make some more ephemera pieces just to finish filling it up. Um, I thought I had a lot, but I was missing a few things. Okay, so that's tied up there. And then uh, another page from the digital kit. These are from um, Cotton and tw uh, Twigs, I believe that's their kit. This is mulberry paper here, which is also fun to write on. This was the envelope that I stuck in there, and I was going to um, decorate it, and then I just said, you know what, I'm going to tear it down the middle and make like a tuxedo shirt. So that's what I did, and I put a journal card in there. Okay, and then on this side I covered that. Here I just have a postcard that you can journal on this, and it is glued down, but I put some washi to look like I... Um, you know, taped it down, and then it has a journal card here that slips in, and it actually slips in kind of crooked so that, um, you know, it's not straight up and down. And you could put other pieces in there. Um, this is a little decoration with uh, some, I made my own washi tape out of tissue. Here's another uh, one of those envelopes, and I put in here just a little uh, picture. Whoops. And you can journal on the back. And this is um, from Bohemian Crafting, if you can see that. It is a, a sort of a negative, and I printed that out on vellum. And uh, you, start, you could add it to one of your other journals. And then back here, I just have a little tag. Okay, and then this gets closed. I, these envelopes were so much fun to make. Then I put a charm on here. And it's got little, um, I put it on this paper clip, but it's got a little bug on it, a little beetle. <laughs> Every botanical garden has a beetle or two. <laughs> um, not like mine, mine had hundreds. And then we have our center page here, which is um, all these little pockets that I um, put on these pages. And this background was a collage that I did with, um, uh, Taylor made journals. Okay, more uh, journaling spot here. This little um, pocket here is just like a notebook. It opens up, and then in here, I have. Oh, I need to finish this. I knew there was something. I always find something. So that one, I need to go back and finish it. And then I've got a journal card back here that needs to be backed or inked or something and so that fits there and then here's another one of those little um envelopes um the ones she did were this size they were like one half inch by three inches but uh, i found it very tiny so but it tucks right in here so that's kind of nice just a le another little element to play with okay this one here I had um, die cut out flowers and there was something, oh, I had the little picture frame. And I die cut um, out all that was with that die cut. And it had this uh, film strip and I just glued the flowers in a row and put the film strip there and made a belly band. And here's a journal card that I put some of the tissue from the front pages, a bird and a dragonfly. Okay. And let's see, these are all kind of journaling pages. Um, this one you saw we did, whoops, I gotta undo that. No, I should be able to slide them out. Right, 
okay, yeah, this one here. Did I glue that down by accident? Maybe. Or maybe it's just a little tight. I must have got it. There we go. A little bit of glue. So this stays in here, and then these little pieces come out for journaling space. Uh, all the backs of them you can journal on. So it's kind of like uh, letters that you've bound together and put in this little holder. And um, when I made this, I didn't slide them in and out to see how, how easy they slide or not. So I'm gonna have to go back in and I think I just need to trim one of them, this one. All right. So that's that. That was fun. That was uh, done by, that was a, an idea that I saw uh, from Rachel at, um, um, what's her name? Oh, her, Roxy Creations, more journaling page. You can journal all across this page, I believe. In the back of that, old school paper. This little guy here is simply a um, journaling spot here. It opens up and then you have room to journal in here. And you can also, which I don't happen to have a tag, but you can um, put notes in here. So if you wanted to save something, you could put them in here and they'll, they'll stick inside of there. So it also serves as um, a pocket for things you wanna keep. Okay, and then a little charm I put here, a butterfly. And this is just vellum. I don't know about writing on vellum, but it's copy dyed vellum. And this is another old page. There's the paper. See, that paper there is this paper, but it's different color range, but it's the same design. Isn't that funny? Okay, this guy here is journaling space here. And then inside here, we have all these little pockets with... Um, these little, um, these come out if you want, and then you've got little journaling cards inside of that. And they're just put together with these two little strips of washi. And then I stuck them down in the pocket like that. And then this goes under the little circle so it holds the flap down. That's if I can get it back down there. There we go, kind of. All right, and so and then there's journal cards here to write on. Okay, so and then on the back of this one is the same thing. This one kind of tucked out a little bit more than I wanted, but I could not cut it down, and I couldn't fold these in. It would have been way too too bulky. Yeah, I feel like yeah, there's that would have been too much. Uh, next time I'll have to rethink making that. Um, where it's going to go in the journal. Uh, here's a pocket we made. This was from um, Bohemian Crafting. Uh, she had that on her video. And um, this is just a little uh, notebook that I made and stuck in there. This is just a little journal card. That, let's see, I think I want this bigger one here. This one goes back here. And then uh, there's a, a journal card that goes all the way in, into here. And there's a button on that one, so. I'm gonna miss the button. Come on. Hold on. I can't see it. There it is. That one should go in first. Alrighty, there we go. And then more vellum and then this pocket here has a journal card up there tag and then a few another little notebook is in here and a, some botanical type uh, tags and then this has a little flip up that you can journal inside there and then it has a little card on the side a little journal card here and um, that little side pocket so this is Really cute. Um, this one was from Dee Dee uh, 
Fargo or Fargo. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But it was just so simple. I'm like, I, I want to make it because I wanted to come right in here and make that. Um, this is a little um, book page that I just folded it in half. And then um, I, I glued it together to give it the strength. And then I just put a journal card there. And then um, actually there's an opening here for a journal card. But I also left the back open so you could put a smaller one here in this part and then um, a bigger one in the back. Alrighty, we're almost to the end, I think. So this one is just clipped on with a rusty paper clip that I made. And in here, I left this blank because I think you could journal on this. And then this sits inside, which has a, a pocket and it has a journal card on the back of that. And that just slides in that little window. This was a picture frame. Um, I'm not sure where I got it. I think it was Artie Mays, but I'm not positive. And I just cut it out and um, used it, you know, to make a card. And then this is an old postcard here that I made where I put the picture frame on there and kind of decorated this up. It has the old uh, 1941. It has a message on the back, so you can have fun reading that. I was gonna glue this in because it's like a belly band, but I just felt like I had enough things like that. So if you choose to, you could always glue it in. Um, and then on this side, we have another journal card in the back pocket here. And then I have my little um, stamp there. So um, this is a good size journal. And um, yeah, I think, and there's still a lot of space to write, plus several journal cards and so forth. Then, oh, I forgot to put that in there. Then um, along with that comes this, that if you remember, I made it and I was gonna put it in the center of the, um, one of the center pages, but it was just too, it came out too bulky. But I love this one. This I thought turned out really cute. So we have, we had a, a pocket here that we, I folded the pocket in half. There's another, I think there's another, or did I just cut it in half? Maybe I just cut them in half. I don't remember. Anyway, um, this is uh, from an envelope and it, it's the shape of the envelope right there. And I'm pretty sure I just folded or cut it in half. And then it has a little journal card here and then here it has a journal card here. I forgot which who was in that. The little reading lady is in there. And I stapled this little tag on. And then we open this and there's a room for journaling there. And I didn't put anything on this guy. And then here I've decorated this one. Um, I stamped the word golden on that, or journal card. Back here, um, this was um, a notebook we made with the with the tag, and um, this could be actually slid over the top of a belly band if you wanted to do it somewhere else. But that gives you an idea for how to do that over a belly band. But I just put a small belly band. Then this one here has. Um, is also an envelope that I just folded it in half. And then I um, glued this center part and opened these two edges for pockets. And then I have a journal card in here and in this side. And then I have journal cards inside of here. I love that one. That was so cute. I love that yellow bird. And what do I have on this side? Another bird on this side. I love that too. And that just fits in this little pocket right here. And then here is a journal card in this pocket that I just made with, um, I use scrapbook paper on this. It's kind of a creamy color, kind of a yellowish cream. And I coffee dyed it. And then here we have another, um, tag on this side 
And then I'm supposed to have a journal card in there, but I don't. So I will have to make one. Let me clip this so I can remember to make one for there. And then here we have a journal card in here and a background. And these are the little things we made with the Walmart or Home Depot, whatever you have, paint chips. Those were fun. I really enjoyed making those to do that again. And then I have a journal card here. Is that, or did I show you that? No, this, okay, this one here. And then I have this one here too. And journaling space on the back. And I use straw paper on a lot of the backs. Like I said, I love to uh, write on that straw paper. Alrighty, so um, that's just the back of that one. So this is comes with the journal as well. Now, um, as far as selling this, I have a a person who is um, spoken for it. Um, however, I I told them uh, to wait until I do the flip through and then to notify me by email. And if I don't hear from them within a day or so, I will go ahead and list this on my uh, big car cartel account. So if you know if you're if you're interested in it, if I didn't sell it, I may um, put a post or something, just not with anything, but just a plain post, um, telling you if it's still available. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the series making this because I. I actually love it. It just, it wasn't intended to be these colors. It, it just happened. And, uh, you know, that's the fun part about making journals is things just happen. And, um, yeah, this is, this was fun. And I felt very, uh, creative <laughs> making it. Um, uh, but it was, it was a, you know, it was a long, uh, haul of a journal to make. But that's what I like to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the series, if nothing else. And if you're interested, uh, let me know. Uh, my email address is in my description. And my um, uh, Big Cartel website to, where I sell the journals is in my description. But like I said, it seems to have somebody very interested in it. Okay? So I'll talk to you soon and have a wonderful day. Bye.